Hey, what's up? Gentlemen, you guys are all leaders this winter, winter 2019 of our dad awesome subgroups. So the catalog is out. I thought I had a catalog. I guess I don't have one. The catalog is out. Your groups are being promoted. You're receiving emails. Your groups are listed on the online directory as well. Uh, thank you for going kind of this pilot round. So this is this is the first round of us doing specifically dad awesome, these fatherhood subgroups. There's been dad subgroups in the past, but uh, I am trying to build a resource that is helpful for lots of dads. I'm, I always create things that are helpful for me. So, so that's my heart. And my goal here is my prayer is that this is really helpful for you dads, that you as leaders take more away from it than anyone that comes to your group. Um, I've always started subgroups with a selfish mentality of I need to grow, I want to grow, I want to grow more friends, I wanna grow my faith. So, so we came up with three real um, simple purposes for these groups, the Dad Awesome subgroups, that you guys would grow in your love for Jesus. So faith, you would grow in your fatherhood. So the dad life, um, some tips, tricks, um, mentoring, resourcing, processing your dad life, you would feel steps forward in. Uh, so fatherhood, faith, fatherhood, and friends. Uh, there's a brotherhood aspect here. We really do pray that some great friendships are formed. So um, the reason that this group has a start date and an end date, you're going to meet over 10 weeks, five times, is that it's a great, perfect way to pull dads in, but not to make a lifelong commitment that you're going to be best friends with every dad that comes to your group. So uh, thank you for leading. This is a pilot. I'm learning as I go. So, so the guide that I sent out to you guys, front and back, it's got a bunch of scripture. Uh, it's got some discussion questions. I'm uh, suggesting a, um, a flow for your time together. Um, definitely want to get everybody talking. Make sure it's not you speaking to. In fact, that's the, probably the greatest thing we can do as leaders is be vulnerable, be transparent, say, I need to grow. Um, kick things off and guide. But the less we talk once we get into discussion, the more we get other dads talking, the better. So you're not, none of us are um, have arrived and none of us are coming at it from, I'm leading a dad awesome subgroup because I am awesome. Come learn from my awesomeness. Not at all the case. And you guys know this. That's why you're leading. Our goal is just to be conveners and to really seek God's wisdom in this role as parenting in parenting. So, so uh, that is kind of the big picture setup. Thank you for leading. The probably the greatest thing you guys can do is get really clear with your dates, times, meeting locations. Um, you can create, use a Facebook event, or or you can use email and text messaging. But the more that you get the word out to dads that you already know, so dads that you serve with in ministry, dads you've been in subgroups with in the past, dads that you're meeting in the lobby, um, it takes 20 invitations to get five dads to show up. So if each of you as co-leaders invite 20, then you'll have 10. That's kind of how this works with subgroups is you got to invite, you got to send the text, you got to send the Facebook invite, you got to send the email, you got to pursue dads to be a part of this. And then again, it's a compounded effect. If you guys, each, each of you as co-leaders invite 10, or I'm sorry, 20, you'll get about 10, five from each of your invites. And then so you get about a quarter of the people you invite will actually come. And then they know other dads and then it compounds out from there. So it takes a lot of work this, this week, but then it's going to back off and it's going to take a lot less work on the inviting side. It's more just follow up and reminding of details and stuff like that. So um, that's all you guys need to know. Call me, text me, let me know if you have any questions. But this is kind of just quick suggested next steps. And then the resource, I'm going to make one of these for the following week as well. So this is the foundations one. I'm actually, as soon as I hit stop on this recording, I'm going to record a little setup video for foundations. You guys can either play that video um, or you guys can um, recap that content yourself. So you don't have to play my video. In fact, you guys can probably give this talk that I'm going to give in a second here, just as well as I can. And it's, it's contextually, it'll be more powerful if it comes from you, but you have the option. Um, again, this is a pilot. Give me your feedback after the week one, and then I'll make week two, uh, which is going to be inside out. It's the theme of what's in your heart, how you do it inside here, because it comes out to your parenting. So that's week two. Week one is foundation. So I'm going to hit stop and hit record the other one. So thanks, guys, for uh, all that you do. Uh, we'll be in touch.